In today's video, we're gonna take a look at some recent developments in the CG industry, including some interesting and new technologies, in addition to software upgrades and new releases. Lately, game studios are trying to achieve the most realistic looking games, and with all the new technologies we have, it's becoming easier to do that, especially with Unreal Engine 5 and its new features. But recently, a solo game developer named Omyog has taken Twitter by storm when he published some behind-the-scenes demos of his work for Project Ferocious, which is a Jurassic Park-style survival shooter game. He recently shared some incredible ocean simulations that he made for his game. These simulations look more realistic than ever, and it is an improved version of the previous simulations, and he achieved it with a shallow water fluid sim and a water rendering shader. We can also see in the videos that he has a custom tool created especially for his game, and it enables him to add new underwater rocks with the ocean reacting to it, as well as demonstrating amazing plant physics, remarkable bullet hole mechanics, in addition to amazing simulations of the ocean's shoreline and wet sand. After a first glance, you would think that this is achieved using Unreal Engine or using some big game studio game engine, but it was actually achieved using only Unity, which is really impressive to see what you can actually make with it now, with all the new technologies it has, and maybe soon we'll be seeing big video game companies using Unity to work on their projects. The biggest news in game development these days is the release of Unreal Engine 5.1. After being stress tested against different workflows, Unreal Engine 5.1 is officially released after a lot of people have been waiting for it. There are a lot of upgrades and new stuff in this release, so let's see what's new. First, there are some updates for Lumen Dynamic Global Illumination and Reflection System. Additionally, now fast-paced competitive games and interactive simulations may run smoothly on next-generation consoles and become more competent thanks to the Nanite Visualization Micro Polygon Geometry System and Virtual Shadow Maps. With the addition of several new capabilities in this release, game developers and other teams working on extensive interactive projects will become more effective in their work. Moreover, thanks to word partition, you can now benefit from quicker source control operations and you can create massive open worlds with no loss of accuracy, which is just amazing. It also includes significant updates of virtual production in addition to broadcast and live events, as well as some improvements in animation, rigging and modeling, along with audio system improvements, which will be helpful to many developers and creators. Additionally, some AI tools such as Smart Objects and State Tree have now been transitioned to production ready and also Mass Entity moved to beta status, which is excellent. These are just some of the new features and improvements in Unreal Engine 5.1, because there is a lot more. Now, talking about VFX, there is a new plugin for 3ds Max and it is from CBAS, which is known for their many high quality plugins such as Thinking Particle and Final Render, which have been used by big studios for many years for creating cool VFX projects. Now, let's talk about the new plugin that they have introduced, and it is called Final Fluid. It is all about creating advanced smoke and fire effects. As they state on their website, it is a GPU-only based dynamic early and fluid simulation system that leverages sparse voxel grid within an unbounded simulation domain. The good thing about it is that it comes with a lot of interesting features such as NVIDIA GPU accelerated sparse grid solver and most importantly, real-time workflow right inside Max, which will bring a new breath to what you can do inside it when it comes to simulations such as smoke, fire, etc. In addition, they are promising a movie quality fire and smoke VFX in real time and standard particle support as well as advanced third-party system support which will be helpful for all Max users. One of the other features this plugin offers is third-party plugin support. This includes Thinking Particles, Final Render, Tyflow, and V-Ray, in addition to others, which according to CBUS are only some of the advanced plugins that will be perfectly integrated with Final Fluid. Most importantly, it offers internal and external render support via OpenVDB, in addition to direct volume rendering with Final Render, which is truly amazing. This is just the first version, that's why I'm pretty sure that CBUS will make improvements and they will make it even better and much more easier to use over the years. Also, it's some major news that you probably missed is the latest version of Cinema 4D version 2023.1 that was released by Maxon recently. 
it includes a number of new features and updates, including modeling, simulations, and redshift rendering. However, Pyro is perhaps the most exciting new feature. It enables artists to quickly simulate the effects of smoke, fire, and explosions from any Cinema 4D object or spline, also cloth and soft bodies. You can do this on GPU and CPU also, where you can control the smoke density and temperature in addition to other parameters that you can experiment with. Before that, Cinema 4D users had to use other plugins such as FumeFX and XParticles. These two plugins are extremely important and they have been used for many years in the industry and now with the enhanced simulation features, you can use a combination of both for better results. Additionally, the newly integrated Redshift camera in Cinema 4D makes getting the ideal shot even simpler with its simple physical camera controls and Redshift effect settings. It is also simple to render with overscan or just compositions for different aspect ratios thanks to a new sensor fit option. Furthermore, this updated version of Cinema 4D now features a new radial symmetry which allows artists to interactively model anything round by specifying the number of slices and offset which will be truly helpful. Also, a lot of enhancements were made to Redshift Materials viewport preview, including support for animated textures, ramps, and color correction nodes, which is amazing. Speaking of new releases, Wizix has recently released Modded 3, which is a hard surface modeling script for Maya. It features automated tasks that can speed up your modeling workflow, such as primitive creation, duplication, complex selection, and bevels. The update features quick lighting and shading tools designed to improve the modeling environment, as well as a new compact and dynamic user interface. Moreover, you can now rapidly add details to your models thanks to the updated screw and bolt library that now also supports interactive placement. In addition, it now has tools such as variable bevel and vortex bevel, along with intelligent symmetry and dynamic duplication, which are really helpful. Now talking about something interesting, as we all know, AI has recently gained a lot of popularity and it is now being merged into fields of computer graphics. For instance, we now have a new program called Move AI that focuses on markless motion capture. So, if you want to quickly and easily create lifelike character animations for your games and other projects without having to spend a lot of money on expensive motion capture suits, then this tool is gonna be for you. It is a brand new and handy tool that analyzes videos for realistic human motion utilizing advanced AI, computer vision, biomechanics, and physics. Using it is very simple. You can start by first recording yourself moving while using a camera, and you can do that in a small motion capture studio or actually anywhere you like. Then you simply move as you would like your virtual characters to move, and Move AI will instantly retarget the data to your character rig. Finally, the tool enables you to directly export this data into any digital environment or game engine, which is incredibly beneficial to any 3D artist. The other update we're going to talk about is the Gaia 1.3.2 release, which is essentially a tool to design terrains that can be used in VFX or games in addition to virtual experiences. After hearing a lot of feedback from users, the creators of this tool have provided us with this new version that includes a lot of new features, like new rock tools, object import, and super sample screenshots. Furthermore, with these new features, you can now use the embed and insert modes in the combined node to create a field of rocks with varying sizes and adjustable density and apply them to any surface. It can also be combined with the rocky and outcrops nodes for even broader rock input. In addition, you can now import OBJ finals, and by using the new height field capture tool, you can convert it into a terrain that you can use in Gaia, which is really impressive. Finally, you can take an auto screenshot of the viewport with the new dedicated screenshot button in the status bar. The screenshot can also be saved to a specific place and file name, or it can be taken off the graph rather than the viewport which is really good. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Leave a comment down below to let us know what you think. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.